We now have an image of that invisible space anomaly, a black hole. Hi, well, Magnus. I think your question is one of the most popular questions, what happened before the Big Bang? And of course, the short answer is we don't know and we might never know. The history of astronomy be divided between before Webb and after Webb? Yes, I believe it will be. So something real is happening, but we can't tell yet if it's a mistake in our observations, a mistake in our interpretation, or just something nature is surprising us with. Take a look at this image. What you're seeing is an incredibly distant cosmic structure glowing brightly in the early universe. This discovery has helped resolve a long-standing puzzle in astronomy. According to our current understanding, the universe came into existence about 14 billion years ago. After the Big Bang, it entered a phase of complete darkness known as the Dark Ages. During this era, the cosmos was filled with vast clouds of gas. Even the most powerful telescope ever built wouldn't allow us to see beyond that darkness. Yet for decades, scientists detected faint, mysterious light emerging from these dense clouds. A groundbreaking observation has now stirred debate among astronomers. Recently, the Webb telescope captured two ancient galaxies for the first time. What's fascinating is that these galaxies appear very different from the ones we know, raising questions about their origins within our universe. Such findings from Webb have sparked profound questions. Are we mistaken about the universe's age or about how these galaxies formed? So, what are these strange lights and where do they come from? New data from Webb has finally unraveled this mystery, suggesting that our previous ideas about the early universe may need revision. The latest image reveals that this light is actually a rich source of Lyman alpha emission. This image reveals something remarkable. The early universe experienced far more galactic mergers than we ever detected before the Webb telescope began its observations. These mergers, along with the intense star formation they triggered, are responsible for producing the Lyman alpha emissions we now observe. Yet, for years, scientists believed these emissions should have been blocked by the thick hydrogen clouds that filled the space between galaxies during the Dark Ages, meaning we shouldn't have been able to see them at all but we do see them. Researchers recently explained why. As stellar mass accumulated and stars formed in these primordial galaxies, two key processes unfolded. First, the stars emitted Lyman alpha radiation. Second, they carved out bubbles and channels of ionized hydrogen within the otherwise opaque neutral hydrogen gas. These openings allowed the Lyman alpha light to escape, proving that stars could illuminate regions beyond the Dark Ages. Even more surprising, in another deep field image, scientists discovered two galaxies that existed beyond this early cosmic darkness. What's puzzling is that these galaxies appear unlike any we've encountered before. Both are highly redshifted, and astronomers warn that if these objects truly are galaxies, it could pose a serious challenge to our current understanding of the universe. This graph offers a detailed look at some of the most distant galaxies captured by the incredible capabilities of the Webb telescope. Here we see the farthest galaxies confirmed through spectroscopic analysis. Among them is GNZ11, located roughly 13.2 billion light years away a galaxy first detected by the Hubble telescope. Now, Webb has revealed something extraordinary within GNZ11. Astronomers have discovered a supermassive black hole at its core. This makes it the most distant black hole ever recorded, forming just 400 million years after the Big Bang. Its sheer size defies our current understanding of black hole formation, as neither the collapse of the first stars nor early black hole mergers could account for such a massive object so soon after the universe began. This discovery suggests we may need an entirely new framework for explaining how these colossal black holes emerged so early. But that's not all. The data holds another surprise that has stunned astronomers worldwide. As shown in the graph, these galaxies represent some of the most distant objects identified by Webb, with the red markers indicating those confirmed through spectroscopic observations. The most distant confirmed galaxy so far is MOM Z14, whose light has traveled for about 13.5 billion years to reach us. And there may be even more early galaxies still hidden in this data. 
Here we see two of the most distant galaxies, sitting at a redshift of about 16. This means these galaxies existed beyond the Dark Ages, a surprising revelation since standard cosmological models predict that galaxies began forming only after the Dark Ages ended. Yet here they are, massive, unusual galaxies that challenge everything we thought we knew. Their existence suggests galaxies formed much earlier than our theories allow. So how do we explain this? One possibility is that the universe is older than we believed. Another is that something extraordinary happened after the Big Bang, accelerating the birth of early galaxies. For now, spectroscopic confirmation of these galaxies is still pending. But if those observations verify their predicted redshifts, the very foundations of cosmology could be shaken. There's also a bold hypothesis gaining traction among scientists, known as conformal cyclic cosmology. This model envisions a cyclic universe. Nobel laureate Dr. Roger Penrose proposes that our cosmos is just one in a series of eons. According to this idea, black holes from a previous universe evaporated, as predicted by Stephen Hawking, and the energy released triggered the Big Bang of the next eon. Penrose even suggests that remnants of those ancient black holes may have accelerated the expansion of our early universe. Scientists now believe that these remnants of black holes from a previous universe could help explain the presence of supermassive black holes and enormous galaxies so early in cosmic history. Everything the Webb telescope has uncovered so far challenges our understanding of the universe. In just its first three years of operation, JWST has shattered numerous cosmic records. Most distant galaxy, most distant protocluster, most distant black hole, most distant red supergiant, most distant gravitational lens, and even the most distant quasar. These discoveries raise profound possibilities. Perhaps our universe is far older than we imagined, or maybe it's part of a chain of interconnected universes, or even eternal, without a true beginning. Given the universe's seemingly infinite scale, the idea of an infinite age becomes plausible. In this view, the Big Bang might not mark the absolute beginning, but rather a pivotal moment in the ongoing evolution of a perpetually existing cosmic framework. If you've made it to the end of this video, share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about these discoveries and the age of our universe? And before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe.